Hi and welcome to the video. In this video I'm just going to show you how to set up your WordPress hosting package. Uh, so it, it assumes that you've already actually bought the package, you just haven't set it up yet. So to start you need to log into your fastest control panel which is where I am now and then on the menu here we're just going to go to WordPress hosting. I've already got a couple of packages set up um, so you might not see exactly the same as me here but what you'll see is this tile here the WordPress hosting complete the setup of WordPress hosting to launch your site with no fuss so click on setup site and then once this screen loads we just got to enter a few details so website title you can change all of this after um, you actually set the site up so don't worry too much if you can't think of it right now so like I say you can change any of that site this, these are going to be what's displayed on your website when you launch basically but again I really wouldn't worry too much now um, if you can't think of anything so username um, so username we're just going to enter something other than just straight admin I'm going to have will admin and you could put some numbers after it to be a little bit more secure. Now the reason for not just using admin is it just makes it a little bit more secure because if anyone ever tries to log into your website and you've just got admin as the username it's the first thing they're going to try and then all they need to guess is your password. Easier said than done obviously but a little bit of extra security and um, have something a bit more uh, random as the username and password just set your password so this is going to be the password you're using to log into um wordpress in your when you actually have it set up uh, helps if they match there we go and scroll down a bit here so we've got pre-installed plugins here now again if you're not sure don't bother you can always add them later so don't worry too much uh contact seven forms probably going to use forms so i'll leave that but again there are other other options for forms so you might want to just start from complete start completely fresh and add them as you go or you can choose a few here some of them are uh, really popular and you may as well have them so once we've chosen the pre-installed plugins continue to domain name so now we're going to choose a new domain name for the package. We have three options here. Uh, we can register a new domain, which is what you're going to want to do if it's a brand new website and you haven't already got a domain name you wanted to use for it. Um, pretty self-explanatory this one, but just enter a domain here. Will's domain, for example, and dig to choose the domain extension there. So .co.uk, .com, .uk, whatever you want, really. And then check. We'll just see if it's not already registered if it isn't go ahead and register it i'm not going to do that in this video um because the process is fairly self-explanatory and i'd actually have to register a new domain name um but yeah uh, you just have to enter some details about your address and whoever's owning the domain and that's it second option we've got is choose a domain in your account so if you've got a domain in your fastest account that is not already attached to another package we could just simply choose that here and use the selected domain or we can use a domain registered elsewhere so um, basically this would be if you had a domain registered with a provider other than fastos you can enter it here and use that with your hosting package and then just update the dns later down the line so well spencer.com use domain so if we're using a domain name registered with another provider, um, it's going to say you need to use, change the name servers of willspence.com to the fastest name servers. You might not want to do that. If you just want to change a record, and this might be going way over your head, so don't worry too much about it um, at this particular point in time. Um, but if you just want to change the A records, um, which is just the IP address, rather than changing the entire set of name servers, you can do that later. You don't have to change name servers you'll get the ip address once the uh once the um, package has launched if you need any help with that if you're not comfortable with dns or you don't understand it just give our support team a call honestly that's what they're there for we're happy to help so we're going to confirm that change here and one thing that is worth noting though is until you set up the dns correctly for your domain name you're not going to be able to see your wordpress website because the way wordpress works is uh, the DNS has to be pointing to the domain name it's on, otherwise you're just not going to see it. So once we've 
uh, set all that up now it's going to say setting up WordPress now this can take a few minutes so I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video there and we'll be back when that has installed okay we're back uh, that did take a while uh, about 10-15 minutes in the end so don't worry too much if it's taking a little while and you're just going to be in the package overview screen here uh, you can find your URL to log into your website um, and some sort of other information if you ever need to get back to this section just go to the WordPress the WordPress hosting uh, there on the fast hosts menu there and you'll be able to find your website and that's all there is to it thanks very much for watching goodbye for now